When it comes to fiberglass reinforced plastics, or FRP, we've heard from some customers that they may be losing revenue because they can't get the parts as quickly as they want. But once they get the parts that they do need, the quality and the consistency of them is not there. If this sounds familiar, we're going to be talking about some solutions where you can overcome that. We're going to show you how to get more parts without additional tools. We're going to show you how to improve the quality and the consistency of your parts. And we're also going to show you ways that you can improve the design flexibility of the parts as well. If you happen to be in a position today where you need more parts than you can currently get from the process you have, we've got a couple of different solutions you might want to hear about. With the reaction injection molding process, there's a couple different things you can consider to get the volume up that you're looking for. The process we use with reaction injection molding, whether it's DCPD or polyurethane, you can get cycle times that are going to be somewhere around 5 to 10 minutes, sometimes even less than that, as compared to, say, 30 minutes to 60 minutes with a hand laid up fiberglass or an FRP type of process. This allows you the advantage to produce more parts very quickly, which allows us to get the parts in your hands faster than alternative technologies. So that may be something to consider versus the alternative of producing more molds in another process like FRP. Think of this kind of process where you get the part on day one that matches the same part that'll look like on day 485. The cost of poor quality can really hurt the profitability of an organization and even worse, the customer perception of a product. To improve those things, try to consider maybe more of a closed mold process that'll deliver a part with a better dimensional stability, can really control the size of the part, and with that process you can control the environmental conditions as well so you get the same part every single time. Our reaction injection molding process is a closed mold process that does all those things we just talked about. Additionally, we pair that with our lean manufacturing process, where we really focus on one piece flow, waste elimination, and that allows us to reduce our scrap, make sure that we're being very efficient with the labor that goes into making these products consistently. And on top of that, we're also using robots to produce the parts. So that is one other factor that makes it very consistent to ensure that the quality that we deliver meets what your expectation is and more importantly, what your customer's expectation is. We want to keep it simple so it meets the customer's needs, plain as that. Us engineers are always trying to be as creative as possible to make the product design simple so that we don't have to add unnecessary features that make a design complex and perhaps doesn't work in the end. You don't have to do that by adding operations like you do for an FRP process. You can do that through design by adding bosses, ribs, things like that with the reaction injection molding process. This helps to reduce complexity and ultimately makes a better product for the customer at the end of the day.